Michael Jordan said in one of his interviews, when they said, you are unbelievable, you're the greatest basketball player of all times. Tell me about that. And he says, well, you're just mentioning the successes. But he says, for me to become the greatest basketball player, I missed 9,000 shots when I was playing basketball at the NBA games. Does it make him a failure? No. We all fail. It's okay. What is not okay is that when you fail, you stay down. Whoever stays down is a loser. And winners will fail and get up. Fail and get up. Fail and get up. You always get up. That is a winner. I can accept failure. Everyone fails at some point. I cannot accept not trying. It is your losses that will humble you. It is your losses that will give you a drive. It is your losses that will allow you not to make the same mistake over and over again. You are not your past. You can't be mad when somebody's pursuing the crisis that you're running from. You ain't mad about that, but you are mad about the reward because you knew it should have been yours. That was your reward, but because you was afraid to do the work because you were afraid of the crisis. Now somebody else got your reward. Stop running from it and run to it. Stop telling me what you're going through. The greats, they get to it, they go through it. And the harder it is, the better. If you lose your job, if you go through a divorce, if you're coming back from addiction, if you're coming back from failure after failure after failure and disappointment after disappointment after disappointment, you must know within yourself there must be a deep inner knowing of your true identity. You've got to know you are a winner, you were born to win. It is your right to win. It is your right to have your dream. You don't get these ideas unless you also have the capacity to make it happen. Give yourself a fighting chance. Whatever you go after, whatever you say, if this is your stuff, pursue it passionately. Let there be a deep hunger in you that you won't be denied. And that when things happen, that they won't immobilize you, they won't deplete your energy. Something as powerful as you cannot be contained and stopped. Temporarily delayed, yes, but stop, no. You gotta learn how to take your pain and let your pain push you to greatness. You gotta learn how not to give up or how not to give in. And you gotta understand that greatness is within you and you gotta pull it out. You gotta climb every mountain. You gotta pick up all the weight. You gotta cry if you got to, but whatever you do, you cannot give up. You cannot give in. And if you give up and give in, you will never experience greatness. So keep going. Nobody ever said it would be easy. But I know greatness is within you and you got what it takes. So get up and let's make it happen.